Hi everybody, welcome to Winsome Cottage Garden. My name is Hannah. I'm so excited that you decided to join me today. It's about 70 degrees, there's a breeze, a lot of people are out doing yard work as you might be able to hear and I decided to join them because there's a couple things that I'd love to get done today. The first of which is actually finishing planting the rest of our dahlias. So you guys saw a video a couple a week or so ago when I planted over 50 dahlias in my landscape in my 6,300 square foot lot here in the city and my dahlia obsession is real because that wasn't all of the dahlias that I had. I actually have a few more that I still need to get into dirt at least. So I actually have a couple more that I would love to uh, get in containers today and I don't know if I'll be able to have space for all of the tubers I still have so there might be one more video after this where I find some places in the cottage for the rest. We'll have to kind of wait and see how it all goes. But I do know that I'll be planting a good number of pots today. I have a couple spiller plants that I'm going to be planting alongside with them. But it's one of those things that I'm not sure. I know I don't have enough. I'm not sure exactly what I'll need. So I'll probably see if I could pick up a couple more items uh, over the weekend to maybe add just a little more interest to the pots. There are actually a couple things that I do want to briefly show you because I know they'll probably be gone before my next garden tour and they just look too good not to share, including the first of which is actually that right there. I know I shared in a video recently some of the white peonies that were blooming that just smelled so amazing but the next round of peonies have started, including this one, which I don't know the variety of this. It's been in the ground for quite a number of years, but oh my goodness. Is that not just like epically gorgeous? Now, this actually doesn't have much of a scent, but I don't know if I care. It's just so pretty. Um, and other peonies that are in bloom right now, this is an Ito peony, it's not bloomed, but look, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, like barely, I can't really see it and I can't smell it. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. The Rugosa is also, the first flush has gone, but it was beautiful. Now the second flush is coming. Uh, but there is another peony over here. Again, I don't know what this variety is. It was here when I moved here. But isn't it just, this one does smell nicely so charming it's got some really pretty stamens it's closing up a little bit because we're nearing the end of the day usually these are wide open and you can see all of the stamens they're so pretty um other things to share just because there's so many that i just want to point out i think they'll be gone before the next garden tour this one oh look at it we had a lot of rain earlier today so this one i think is feeling a little bit of sadness but it's covered and it's just so this one smells amazing there's another one in the front but I think it must be a similar variety that also smells so good right next to it too the Siberian iris I think they're called Dawn I'll see if I can find the name tag that's just stunning I'm trying to shade it so you can get a I can see the they're covered this is I think it started out at six rhizomes. And I have this glorious patch. It's turning into a mini garden tour, but like, can you blame me when everything looks this good? Check out the Mexican primrose. Look at that. And this isn't even in its full glory. You can see I'm experimenting with some of my garden art, switching it up. Look at them. They are just so beautiful and they still have a ton of buds. And it's just like a carpet of pink. So, so pretty. This is starting to go too. We have a couple more buds opening up in the Gertrude Jekyll climbing David Austin rose that are so sweet right now. Okay, one more that I do just, I just have to share, which is my poppies. One of them's a little blown out. I think it's its last day. I've been enjoying it for the last couple days. But one just opened, which is really fun. What that princess pink poppy is supposed to look like. This is one that's, it's its last day, I think. But this one is just opening. It's definitely not the poppy that it was labeled as, but it's still beautiful. I just love how big and bold these are. I also need to show, it's really loud because so many people are doing their grass right now, but look. The Perrin's Pride is just beginning to open. These are a bit small. They're supposed to get a lot bigger. Isn't that beautiful? Anyway, thank you for indulging me. 
uh, as I just showed all the beautiful things. I mean, I'd love to include them in my next garden tour. I just don't know if they're gonna be, still be looking good. The, the poppy I showed you, the princess one, is definitely not because it's on its way out right now. I was thinking of cutting it. I didn't because I wanted to enjoy it in the yard a little bit more, but I think it's on its way out in all honesty, but it was very nice while it lasted. Anyway, back to the subject of today's videos, dahlia planting. I still have a lot of tubers, more than I really thought. So these are either gonna get planted in pots today or they're going to the cottage and getting planted in the ground this weekend. Um, so without further ado, let me just kind of show you what we have. This is it. This is my mess. So, um, good news. Another one of the things I thought I killed popped up. This happens to be a pretty big one, a big brother dinner plate dahlia. So I am going to see if there is a place I can stick it in the landscape because it's a little too big in all honesty to be planted, uh, in a pot. I have two mystery dahlias. These could be dahlias that I grew from seed last year that never flowered. These could be dahlias that the uh, rhizome broke off and I just put them in this tray to see if anything would come of them. A lot of them, I mean, for every, there's two in here. I think there was something like, I don't know, 20 tubers. They looked a little like this. This isn't quite rotted yet, but it's on its way. So we'll rescue these two, stick them in the landscape. And then I have bags of dahlias. There's two in here that are actually gonna go on pots in the front. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film that because there are a couple people literally moving outside right now in the front. And then I have these bags of dahlias, some of which are smaller. I think I tried to keep some of the smaller ones left for this. I've got some more sunset mix. I've got some more pom-poms. I have an old rose mix, which is beautiful. I'm gonna see honestly how many pots I can scrounge up. Some of these are gonna be a tiny bit small. They might not be the very best for the dahlias, but they will be what they will be. Uh, I'll see what I can film, and then I will show you where everything ended up in its place. Normally, I would buy a lot more annuals to put in pots, but I just have so many dahlias this year that I'm going to see what I can do with them in the pots and add a tiny bit of annual interest here and there as I have it, which works out well because the price of annuals this year has gone up significantly. That's beside the point, but... Without further ado, let's get some dahlias in the dirt. I know my camera cut out at some point because my uh, storage filled up a little bit so I've made space uh, and I got a lot of the dahlias in pots now some of the pots might have been a titch small but 
the tubers are going to survive. They might not thrive as much as they would if they were in the landscape or had a much bigger pot, but they'll still do well. I'll be able to store them and figure something else out a little bit more next year. Here is all that's left. It's really not a lot. We have the two mystery dahlias. Uh, we have a couple of random tubers and five sunset dahlias. Let me show you what pots they ended up in, uh, what kind of other plants I added as an understory, and the arrangements. There's This isn't completely done. You're going to notice you still have a plant hoard that will be cleaned up in the next week or so uh, and put to use, hopefully. And then uh, I'll probably add one or two more pots to kind of give it like an overflowing look. But here is the ones that are in the backyard. So you guys have seen these steps before. Uh, and on this side, I have four pots. Um, most of these ended up being the old rose mix and pom-pom dahlias, though in this white pot, which is a bit small, but we'll see, I did do one of the Bee's Choice dahlias. I think in these pots, I only have them underplanted with some alyssum. And I have some yellow um, portulaca that I've got there. Then over here, there's only three on this side. Uh, this one is actually a thing of mint. I went to get it out and realized it was uh, the mint had come back, which is great. So I've got it there so I can now start using that. I'll move my chives over too, so it'll be cute. And then I have a portula. And this is an old rose. And then another one that's planted with Alyssa. I do have one more pot over there, but that's where this uh, Black Eyed Susan vine needs to get planted. And then I, I need to figure out exactly where it's going. Let me quickly take you to the front yard. Uh, to see the front porch ones because you saw me plant up a couple of them but most of them ended up being planted in place okay and this is it we've got hi guys i've got a lot of neighbor background noise so i have to add a voice over here but i do want to let you know what is in these pots this is my front door each of these pots has dahlias and some underplantings in it Let's zoom in here. Okay, so these terracotta pots has some more portulaca and each has a pom-pom dahlia in it. There are three of them and they are all the same, though I don't know what color the pom-pom dahlias will be. Okay, and we're gonna go look at the next one. This gray pot right here has another pom-pom dahlia and it is under planted with Mexican heather. I've never used this before, but I thought it was so pretty. It might get a little big. It says it could get up to 10 to 14 inches, but I thought I'd give it a try and see what happens this year. We pan over to the next one. This urned style right here has one of the dahlias we pre-started that I thought I killed from last year. It was labeled as a gallery Leonardo dahlia, which is a low growing one um, with lots of pinks and uh, yellows of a sunset and it is underplanted with alyssum. Okay, and on to the last one, which for some reason I didn't get a great picture of, but this is an October sky dahlia, which could get a little bit big. It also has a lot of nice sunsetty colors in it. And I have underplanted this with two Supertunia bubblegum, which are going to get massive and kind of help spill over, creating an overabundant effect. I'm really glad that we got those in the ground. I feel much better about them knowing that they're in dirt, their roots can come up. Some of them had some pretty long eyes emerging, so I knew they were a bit desperate. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad those remaining five tubers are going to come to the cottage and I'll definitely find a spot for them. Oh, one other thing I will add. I did not plant up the big brother uh, dahlia. I decided to actually leave it for a little bit because I had a hard time finding some space for it. And I thought what I would do is wait and see if there are any duds in the dahlias that I've got in the ground and I might pop that where it went. Um, and it's still got some time before it needs to be moved. So uh, that is sitting here. I've got a couple more potting projects to get done. I don't know if I'll do them tonight. It'll probably be a next week project, so you'll be seeing the video in the next little bit where we kind of finish tidying up the plant hoard and getting the pots settled so that I can just say that the porch is done and looking great for the year. Anyway, I'm losing a little bit of light and I have a couple more maintenance things I need to do, so I'm so glad that you decided to join me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.